When smoothing the surface, try not to gouge into or take away much of the actual rebar. When sanding the surface, start with coarse sandpaper and finish with fine sandpaper. Wipe the surface with the acidic solution until there is no dirt picked up by the Kim wipe. Use one swipe as well as a clean part of the Kim wipe each time. Finally, make one wipe with the basic solution to neutralize the acid. Make sure to apply the glue to the bottom of the strain gauge. Apply the epoxy to the entire strain gauge. Cover the lead wires as well. Allow approximately 15 to 20 minutes for the epoxy to dry properly. Connect the red alligator clamp to the shielded wire with a blue stripe. Connect the black alligator clamps to the other two shielded wires in any configuration. If the blue striped shielded wire is not connected to the P-plus spot, the strain gauge will not work. 